Here we are. We are safe within these walls. So this is Letho's castle. It's beautiful. I'm glad you think so. Though you may not remember this place, I've long waited to welcome you back here. Welcome home. <gasps> I'm home? Yes, you are. <sighs> I feel overwhelmed with joy. I may cry. Queen Lumera. Vander. Clan. Frem. Thank you for all you've done. You are worthy stewards indeed. You and your predecessors, watching over my child all these years. I am ever so grateful. You are too kind. Yeah, it's awful nice of you to say that. I'm starting to feel woozy. Oh yeah, go us! We just got praised by Queen Lumera herself! The happiness of this moment aside, I am troubled to see the corrupted here in Lethos. The corrupted? Those enemies you were fighting out on the grasslands. Oh, I didn't like those things one bit. Just the sight of them made my blood run cold. Understandably so. The corrupted are corpses revived by an evil power. The fell dragon used them as his soldiers in the war. Before the start of that bitter conflict, Elios had known peace for eons. But then, a dark presence emerged. Sombron. Despite tireless searching, we could not determine where he'd come from. But seeing the destruction he wrought, there was no doubt of his evil intentions. Now the corrupted are spreading once more. This may be a sign of his return. No. I wonder if it is mere coincidence that you awakened as all this unfolds. If the Fell Dragon has been released, then we must prepare for battle. I can't imagine fighting someone like that. Worry not. I doubt he will attack anytime soon. This castle is filled with the spirits of divine dragons. The corrupted cannot enter it easily. Let us devise a plan now, while we have the opportunity. Emblem Marth. It's been quite some time, Lumera. That it has. Thank you for lending your aid against the corrupted. You're welcome. But of course, I could help only because your child remembered me. You know, it is possible the others are awake now, just as I am. Perhaps you are right. Sorry, but what do you mean? Who's awake? There is something I should show you. Follow me. What is this place? This is the Ring Vault. It is where the Emblem Rings are enshrined. Those of the Holy Knight, of the Sage Lord, and of the Azure Twins rest here, as well as the Ring of the Princess Exalt, and finally, the Ring of the Instructor. Each dwells within an Emblem Ring, as Marth resides in the Ring of the Hero King. So, counting Marth, there are six Emblem Rings. Wow. In fact, there are twelve. Six here, and six entrusted to the other countries. As a precautionary measure. What do you mean? The emblems grant world-altering power to whoever has all twelve rings. For generations, the Divine Dragons used this power to ensure peace and prosperity in Elios. Indeed, that was how we locked away the Fell Dragon. But many have sought to steal the rings, and use them for their own nefarious purposes. Which is why they're scattered all over the continent, not just stored here. Precisely. The rings offer their power but once every thousand years, at which time the Divine Dragon travels across Elios to collect them from each nation's ruler. With a thousand years having passed since last time, I was planning to carry out this ritual soon. But if the Fell Dragon is after the rings, the emblems may be summoned before I arrive. Summoned? It is how one calls for an emblem from a ring, just as you did earlier with Marth. Only those with royal dragon blood are capable of summoning. That includes you, my child. Oh, you must be talking about the phrase that popped into my head. An invocation, you mean. 
What was it? Shine on, emblem of beginnings. I wasn't even thinking about it. The words just fell from my mouth. That was how you summoned Marth. <sighs> what was your focus, your intention, when you spoke those words? I wanted to help Clan and Fram. I didn't want to lose them. I wanted to protect them. Your focus was on helping others. Remember that intention whenever you summon emblems. Not to keep the power for yourself. Understand? To borrow so you may protect others. I understand. Now, why don't we try a practice battle? You must be a little rusty after all these years. How about we train here? You will be the one fighting. The emblem lends you their strength. You need to train your body and mind to unleash an emblem's full power. Vander, Clan, Frem, you will be aiding my child in this battle. Against me. Queen Lumera, even in a practice battle, I could not turn my weapon on you. Oh, Vander, please do put your heart into it. I know I will. How could you think so? I made these opponents from plants and rocks. Nevertheless, their abilities are the same. Drop your guard and you could be hurt. Oh, they're really unsettling. Can we train with something else? They give me the chills. Listen, you must push through your fear and face whatever opponent stands against you. Never run away. You are my child, the protector of all. The Divine Dragon. I understand. Don't worry, Divine One. We'll back you up every step of the way. Yeah! What Fram said. As loath as I am to battle against Queen Lumera, orders are orders. I pledge to bring us victory. Thank you, everyone. Now, let's begin. Be cautious, Divine One. Some of these enemies are carrying long-range weapons. Therefore, they can rain arrows upon us from afar. See this enemy with the axe. Axe wielders are at a disadvantage against swords. Swords are strong against axes, axes against lances, and then lances against swords. If you outmatch your foe, you can break their fighting stance for an advantage in combat. Try it, strike with your sword. After their stance is broken, they'll be open to further attack. Well done. You see, swords are strong against axes. 
always keep such weapon advantages in mind. Enemies can't counterattack while recovering their stance. A good time to finish them off. As your steward. with my staff. Not only that, I can take incoming hits for nearby allies. But it smarts when I do. Anyway, if you don't want to get hurt or you need some patching up, just lean on me. Divine One, I don't know if you knew this or not, but I can use magic. I'm good from near or far, even against well-protected enemies. Enter the fray. There is no need to hold back, my child. All right. Forgive me for standing against you. Vander, you are my child's knight. You must fill that role as best you can. Attack me with all your might. As your steward. Queen Lumera. I don't want to attack you. Oh, I feel busy. Sharpen your focus, clan. Lest you miss. Huh. I'm so sorry. Fantastic work. You fought together splendidly. Let's move on. Wait over there a moment. 
All right. If everyone is in position, we'll begin. This time, I will be more hands-on. I intend to fight as if in an actual battle. Furthermore, I'll be using this. Is that the Ring of the Holy Knight? Indeed it is. I'm inviting an old friend to join us. I am Sigurd. If you require strength and swiftness, I am all too happy to oblige. Emblem Sigurd. He looks like a strong opponent. Each emblem has their own abilities. When allied with them, you can call upon their unique powers and skills. Whatever Sigurd's power is, it won't be the same as Marth's. We better keep our eyes open. My rapier is effective against cavalry, like those enemies over there. Once we engage, you can use my weapon. Try it against that foe. the Divine Dragon. Teamwork is inspiring. Now it's time for us to make our move. Come, Sigurd. Stay back! Yeah. <laughs> that was incredible! 
Lord Sigurd is remarkably swift. Perhaps we should be grateful this is a mock battle. together so well. Well fought, everyone. You bested Sigurd and me. That's quite the feat. There is much to improve upon, but this is a wonderful start. Great work. Thank you. I can't believe we had to fight against Queen Lumera. Yeah, well, I can't believe we won! Though you have only just awoken, your power seems to be growing already, Divine One. I'd like for you to have this. This is the sword you were using, isn't it? Yes. An ancient blade that can be wielded only by Divine Dragons. It served me well for many years, but now it is yours. Consider it a prize for your victory today. Thank you. Someday I'll prove that I'm worthy of this sword. I have no doubt. Please, take this as well. Is this another emblem ring? No. It is purely ornamental. You see, before your slumber, I made you a promise. What was it? I said I'd give you a birthday present that suited you perfectly. I was working on it in private, but I was unable to finish it in time. That birthday has long since passed, but I would quite like to give you this gift now. I'm sorry. I can't accept. Why not? That ring fulfills a promise you made me, right? But I don't remember that promise. It'd feel wrong accepting it. Like I was taking a present meant for someone else. Please offer me this gift again once I've remembered everything. Everything, you say? <sighs> did facing me in battle stir any recollections? It didn't. I'm sorry. You need not apologize. It doesn't matter what you can remember right now. I only hope that one day, you will think of me as your mother, as you did a thousand years ago. Uh... Forgive me. I was so thrilled to spend time with you again. I suppose I got a little carried away, didn't I? <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> I don't mean to put you on the spot. Perhaps we should call it a day, hmm? But let's agree to chat again in the morning. What do you say? Pinky promise? <laughs> all right.
<laughs> um. Spectacular as ever. Please rest easy for today. Oh, how wonderful to see my child awake at last. Now we'll never have to be apart. There is so much to catch up on, so much to see and do together. We can chat for hours, take long walks, share meals, and then... Mm. If my child's memories are truly lost, I wonder... <sighs> Emblem Sigurd. I am here. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Today certainly was eventful. Queen Lumera seems so kind and caring. I'm sure she was a wonderful mother. Oh, if only I could remember those days. I must have felt so lucky to be her child. <laughs> 